Well, thanks everybody for, uh, for coming and uh, appreciate y'all being here. And just kind of wrapping up last week, I think anytime you can go on the road and beat a Power 5 team in their stadium and find a way to win, you have to be proud of your football team. And I was uh, really proud um, of the way that we just kept playing. I shot, I thought our team showed a lot of mental toughness. You know, in the, the very first play of the game, they get a 75 yard play for a touchdown. And then, uh, you know, things weren't looking real good. They had drove in the ball in our red zone and, um, you know, Jesse had the big pick that got us to midfield. Then it was a 7-7 game. And obviously the pick six and then the offense's touchdown before the half. Um, you know, I, I just think it was just we found a way to win. And I think our guys just kept playing regardless of the scoreboard, regardless of the situation. You know, at the end of the game, when you, when you look at the stat sheet, when you get out gained by 250 yards, you don't win a lot of games. But we won the turnover battle five to nothing. Uh, we got 17 points off of turnovers. Like I said, the, and I thought the, the key, uh, two really key plays of the game were the touchdown right before the half to make it 21-7. And then they got the big plays, and uh, they made it 27-21. And it felt like they had momentum. And then our offense got the ball, went right back down the field, made it a two-score game. And uh, I just thought our offense answered the bell every time they had to and got it back to a two-score game. And uh, you know, I think for our team, it's good to win a game like that. We've won some of those tough defensive nail biters. You know, that was a game that we were going to have to score points. And we got 33 on the board. And, uh, you know, again, I think our team has a lot of confidence now. Um, but the challenge gets tougher. Um, you know, we're, we're going on the road uh, against a, a really good football team in the ACC. Again, another team two weeks in a row that's coming off of a bye week. And NC State is a, a very good, very talented, very well-coached team. Um, you know, knowing Dave from the, the days in the MAC, uh, he's a really good football coach. Uh, he has a good staff, and they've recruited very well. And on offense right now, they're scoring over 42 points a game. They're averaging close to uh, 500 yards a game. They have a graduate transfer quarterback, Ryan Finley, that is playing older because he was in the same offensive system with the coordinator at Boise. So they came and together, and he is completing 76% of his balls, which he's number one in the country. And I don't care how many screens you're throwing, 76% is impressive. Uh, he's got a really good touch, he understands the offense, he can throw the deep ball, the intermediate ball, he can make every throw. He's a good athlete. Uh, certainly the running back days um, gave us an absolute fit last year. We couldn't tackle him. I think he's one of the very best backs in the ACC, and between having uh, Gillespie, Nichols, and Frazier, it's a position they have great depth. Um, I think Jalen Samuels is one of the most underrated players in the ACC. Uh, he's just a player that can do everything. He's a running back, a tight end, a receiver. He's really good on special teams. He's a very tough matchup, you know, because he's a guy that when he's in there, you know, he's. He plays like a tight end or a running back, so it's hard to go nickel. But if you don't go nickel, he can tear you up as a slot. And uh, certainly they have speed on the perimeter. You know, Naheem Himes is just a dynamic, dynamic player uh, in the kick return game and as a slot. And they'll get speed sweeps to him. They'll hand him the ball. And I think their receivers, Cherry and Lewis, have really stepped up for them and, and become really good football players. And. Uh, Again, it's a challenging scheme. It's, it's different than Indiana, but they'll change tempo on you. There's a ton of formations, shifts, motions. Uh, they run a number of trick plays, um, and it's combined with a very sound fundamental run game. And uh, so it's a, it's a really good offense, and their offensive line is good. They got a, a graduate transfer center, uh, Selfo, who's, whose dad was, the I believe, the head coach at Tulane, and I think he might still be with the Saints who has really solidified their front. So they had a lot of good players back, and then they got a fifth year senior center. Um, and, and they're very good, and I think they're, they're playing very physical. Um, and that's the offense, the, the side of the ball that's uh, even uh, certainly as, if not more impressive, is their personnel on defense. Um, they basically have everybody back from a year ago. You know, it all starts up front. Um, 
you know, their tackles average about 310 pounds. Um, you know, they've got great speed on the edge. Uh, obviously, we know Chubb really well because he's Brandon's brother. Um, and he's become an excellent player, and he's up to like 270 pounds. And I don't know if there's a front that we played last year that gave us more problems than NC State, and all those guys are back. So they literally go eight deep. If you look at their starting defense, it's nine juniors and two seniors. So these guys have all played a lot of football. They're very experienced. Uh, the linebackers are, are very active and very experienced. Um, the safeties are excellent players. They know their scheme very well. Um, they're very involved in the run game, and you know they're the perfect. You know they play a lot of what we call quarters coverage. That they have to be very involved in the run fits, and these kids know exactly what they're doing. They know what gaps they fit. Uh, the linebackers and safeties are all on a string, and they work together really well. And uh, and they're also really good in the kicking game. I, I think their punt protection is very well thought out. They give you multiple formations. They can move the protection different ways. Uh, they'll have different amount of gunners, and they do a great job on kickoff return. It's, it's really a, a unique scheme um, that they change it up a little bit every week, uh, but they do a, a very good job of covering people up and then let Himes hit a, a seam. So again, good football team on the road. Uh, NC State is always a, a tough place to play. Um, so we're expecting a, a great football game, and um, you know, this is certainly a team that we have not played very well against the past two years. Uh, so our, our players have a lot of respect for uh, what NC State does, both their players and their coaches. With that, any questions? Coach, can you uh, just speak about the feeling of this team right now being 4-0 and the challenge that comes with not accepting that, you know, for this early part of the season going into uh, a road matchup against an in-state rival conference game, all that? You know, the, the coach speak is you always want to go 1-0 and that week, but I think our players have really bought into that. You know, um, I think any time that a group is winning for the first time, they don't take it for granted. I don't feel our players have taken this for granted. Uh, their work ethic has been excellent. Uh, their preparation has been good. You know, just like our Friday walkthroughs and our meeting sessions, those, that attention to detail has never been better in our program, and I think our players have bought into the fact that those things do carry over to Saturday. And then you combine that with an opponent that they know is really good. Um, you know, I, I, I feel we're, we've had that one week mindset and I, and I don't think it is a cliche with this group. I really feel like they enjoy the win. They love that feeling in the locker room and okay, now we're on to the next one and, and make sure we make that same weekly investment we need to in order to have success. Uh, speak about the performance from John Bull for coming in one week after losing his starting position and still playing up to that capability that he did, scoring three t t touchdowns and, and leading the offense the way he did. Yeah, I mean, I think in some ways John maybe played one of his best games here. I mean, number one, we didn't turn the ball over at all. So you just, you know, obviously you, you win turnover battle five to nothing. Great job by our defense of getting five turnovers. Put incredible job by our offense to not turn it over. You know, last year that was really a game we, we kind of lost with a pick six. Um, so I thought we managed the ball really well. I thought John managed the game well. Um, again, it was encouraging to get some third downs running the football. I think we converted, you know, a third and five again by running it. Um, and he was really smart. He didn't force the ball in the traffic. He, he ran when that was the appropriate decision. And you know, and I've said this many times in the offseason that I think, you know, a lot of you guys try to make John sound like a, an immobile quarterback. And, you know, he played with a bad ankle last year, and John's a good athlete. And I think he's shown that this year. The run he had against Delaware, the plays he made with his feet. Um, John, John is a good athlete and can run. And, uh, you know, now is he as dynamic as Kendall? With some of those things, no, but Kendall's exceptional with that stuff. It doesn't mean that John isn't very good with it. And John's a really good ball handler. Um, so he made good decisions and uh